Hey guys, this is Austin, and staying here with a video going over Windows Phone 8. So earlier today, a leaked video hit the web of a Microsoft executive going over all the brand new features that are going to be coming in Windows Phone 8. So this video was originally meant for carriers, for manufacturers, people like Samsung and HTC. However, it was leaked and Microsoft has officially confirmed it. So let's just go over some of the new features. One of the biggest surprises is that Windows Phone 8 is going to be heavily based on Windows 8. So this means it's going to have a very similar kernel and have a lot of the same features. In addition, apps that are made for Windows 8 can very, very easily be ported over to Windows Phone 8. This makes a lot of sense. Of course, with Windows 8 having the new Metro UI, which is very similar to what you will find on Windows Phone today, as well as a lot of improvements as far as touchscreens and all that kind of stuff goes, it just seems like it's a natural fit. However, these technical changes are going to be just that, technical and under the skin. So all the current apps that run on Windows Phone will continue to run, there's going to be no major changes, but there are of course are going to be a lot of under the hood tweaks. This means that several key upgrades are coming to Windows Phone 8. So, it will now be able to support multi-cores. So, of course, currently Windows Phone 7 only supports a single-core CPU. However, now you'll be able to get dual-core, quad-core, or how many ever cores that they decide to fit. It all should work really nicely. There's also going to be support for four different screen resolutions. So, currently, all Windows phones have a resolution of 480 by 800. Certainly not awful, but it is definitely getting a little bit long in the tooth. So now we will get several more, most likely including high-definition resolutions. There are also going to be a lot of brand new features. So this includes a new Skype app, so it's still going to be optional, so it's not going to be integrated into the OS or anything. It's going to be very nice if you, of course, you want to use Skype on your Windows phone. Some of the other things include that there's going to be a lot of integration with Windows 8. So instead of having to use the clunky Zoom software, everything will just be integrated. So you can just be able to plug it in and everything should just work. Windows Phone 8 will also be using a brand new version of Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer 10 Mobile. Uh, now, Internet Explorer actually isn't all that bad on Windows Phone, and there are going to be some key improvements here, most notably the fact that it will actually be able to compress your data, so, for example, some images and whatnot can actually be compressed a little bit to help you save on bandwidth. There also will be NFC support, so you'll be able to take your phone and pay for things, and on top of that, there also will be able to skin the camera. So, for example, you know, if you don't like the standard camera interface, you'll be able to get it skinned to however you like. So that's about all we know on Windows Phone 8. Personally, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I've been using Windows Phone 7 for about a month or so now. I've got to say I like it. There's a lot of really cool stuff. However, not being able to have a dual core or quad core processor, which you know is pretty much what all the major phones are going to these days, on top of only having one screen resolution across all the phones they make was a big problem for me. However, now they're going to be fixing both of these as well as getting some cool Windows 8 integration. I'm really looking forward to it. So now that you've heard a little bit about Windows Phone 8, what do you guys think? Are you perhaps interested in maybe taking a look at it, maybe switching over from your current iPhone or Android or Blackberry or Blackberry ants? Are you maybe perhaps interested in taking a look at Windows Phone 8? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more information on Windows Phone 8, be sure to hit that subscribe button up above. I'll be making more videos when we get some more information, when it comes out, all that kind of good stuff. So to be sure that you know about all the new latest updates on Windows Phone 8, be sure to subscribe.